Hey everyone, Senior Fans Pants here. Today I bring you a battle against Ignited Knight. Um, he's one of the directors here on Pokemon Ash Bit Beta. And so, you know, it was, this was a really great battle. It was really, like, intense and stuff. It was, he made some really great predictions. I made some uh, alright ones. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is my very first video to Pokemon Ash Bit Beta. So, you know, I'm pretty excited about this battle. You just, I'm just decided just, you know, just get my name out there. So I'll, I'm pr pretty much frequently uploading on community channels now. So yeah, let's just get right into this battle. So Ignited goes into his Staraptor, and I go into my Sharpedo. Um, I just go for the Protect, just to scope out what, what move he wants to do, and he goes for U-Turn. So now I get the Speed Boost, and I I think I'm faster than him, but he ends up being Scarf, so he ends up U-Turning and being able to take me out in one shot. So unfortunately, I have to sacrifice my Sharpedo because just because I didn't know he was Scarfed. But he has to withdraw now because of U-Turn, and he sends out his Minchow. So I go... Uh, into my Ferrothorn just to see what he wants to do and since the high jump kick is kind of obvious I just go for the protect and he ends up due to the protect he hurts himself and he does about 50% and you notice he's, he's got to switch out now because he doesn't really, really have anything to do to me so I just decided to set up my stealth rocks and that's what I do and I just go for protect just to see what he does and he makes a really great play here and goes for, for the Draco Meteor while I protect and um, I just stay in, maybe hoping that he'll go for another protect, but he actually ends up going for the hidden power of fire that is able to take me out one shot. So I go into my hair cross now, and I scare him out with that mega horn. And uh, I go for the mega horn again on his incoming uh, shell shock, which is his shell gone. And it doesn't do that much, it does alright damage considering how bulky shell gone is. So I get the intimidate on him with my incoming salamence, and he goes into his uh, size and he makes a really nice double switch here. And uh, he goes for the uh, into his Squidward, which is his Tentacruel, because he predicts the Fire Blast, and that's obviously going to happen, and it's going to do basically nothing to him. And I make kind of a misclick here and go for the Outrage. I should have gone for the Earthquake, because that would have taken out his Squidward anyways. And I could have just kept going for Outrage and uh, maybe taken out the rest of his guys. But I end up actually just going, keep going for the uh, uh, Outrage. And so it's, I can't switch here due to the Outrage, so he ends up taking me out with an HP Ice. From his Min Chao, which they, which is a move they actually normally carry. Um, so I go into my uh, Heracross here, and he withdraws because he could tell that I'm probably scarfed. And he makes the pretty good play and goes into a Shell Shock again. And so I just go for the uh, close combat, and that does pretty much the same amount as the Mega Horn did. So he just decides to stay in, probably to keep it in his Death Fodder, and I just go for the Mega Horn again, and that's good enough to take his Shell Shock out. I do get the Moxie boost here, but it doesn't really end up mattering too much because he switches back into Star Raptor, and because he's Scarfed, I know he can outspeed me and go for the Brave Bird. So I just decide to switch out into my Slow Bro, and he goes for the Brave Bird, and it does about half. But you know, um, I'm not sure if he is reckless, but if he does, uh, you know, it would have done more damage. Probably. So I go into my slow bro and I decide to slack off because I know I can live another Brave Bird and other that are predicting a switch. So um, I just switch back uh, into my uh, my hair across here because I don't want to really stick around with my uh, with my slow bro, maybe predicting a U turn. So basically, he decides to switch out and I go into my and I just go for the Mega Horn. And I'm not sure if a Mega Horn would have taken him out at that range because he is at pretty low health. But I do end up missing, but that's too bad. I make kind of a bad switch in and uh, go into slow bro, and he actually U-turns and does pretty good damage to me. Um, so now he just goes into a Caesar, and he probably predicts either a switch, but um, I, I'm kind of worried of a bug bite, but I know I could probably live a bug bite, so I just decide to go for the flamethrower, um, he, and he just goes for the swords dance. He said that he forgot that slow bro learns flamethrower, so, oh well, there's nothing I can really do about that now. So he goes into his Latios, and um, here I just decided to switch out, go into my Reuniclus, and he goes for the Thunderbolt. And judging by how much this Thunderbolt did, I could probably just keep going for the Recovers, and eventually when I'm at high enough health, I'll just go for the Calm Mind and just keep Calm Minding. But he actually gets a crit here, so that kind of just makes me, this process stall out even longer. And unfortunately, I don't see any Life Orb on him, so I know this, this stall is going to go on for a while. So here I just get the impression that he's Specs, because... He just keeps going for the Thunderbolt instead of the uh, the Draco Meteor. So I just keep going, uh, just keep going with the recovers, get a combination of that and leftovers. So hopefully I'll eventually get be able to live with a uh, and go for the combine like I do here. But um, here I'm not sure if another Thunderbolt would have taken me out. But he actually ends up going for the Draco Meteor, and um, surprisingly that just surprised me because I didn't see any like life orb damage. Um, 
so I, I got the impression that he was Scarf, but since he went for the Draco Meteor, he isn't, so I'm just, I was kind of confused what item he has. So I go into my Heracross, and he switches out um, into his Min Xiao, and I just decide to go, I think I went for the close combat, I'm not sure. But he decides to go for the fake out, and I flinch, and I just go for the Megahorn again, and that takes him out. And now he goes into his Latios again, and I, no, he goes into his Star Raptor. So this is the second last guy. Um, I just switch out. Because I know he can outspeed me still. And he, I go just go into my slow bro. And he goes just goes for the brave burn. And that's good enough to take uh, my slow bro out. Oh no, go, good enough to take his star raptor out because of the recoil. So now I just decide to keep my uh, slow bro in as death fodder. Uh, just to get the cl clean switch into Heracross. So I can just go for the mega horn. And that takes uh, his Latios out. So amazing game. Uh, Ignited Knight. Um, a lot of you guys might know him because he is a director here, like I said before. Um, that was a great battle. I was so excited, like, throughout the whole game. It was really intense. Um, anyway, so, yeah, I'm. my channel link will be in the description below as well as Ignited Nights. And uh, that's it. So, see you guys later. Peace.